In Ecuador's remote and unexplored Amazon jungle, local legends preserve the grandeur of an ancient city built by giants. Gigantic structures built from huge blocks of stone are slowly yielding to the ruthless hand of Mother Nature, who is steadfastly reclaiming all that has been taken from her. Despite these claims and legends existing for centuries, official institutions deny the existence of such a place calling it a figment of fantasy and folklore. But a group of extraordinary adventurers and explorers discover something too strange and utterly fascinating to simply dismiss as a myth. This video will take you in the footsteps of these brave explorers, penetrating the heart of the jungle and uncovering the city of giants, an ancient place shrouded in centuries of silence and filled with unsolved mysteries. We will seek out the incredible truths that have been suppressed for years. But we must warn you, be prepared. What you will discover may undermine everything you know about human history up to this point. A story full of adventure, mystery, and forbidden knowledge awaits you. A story that has been kept quiet for too long. Myths and Legends In the heart of the Amazon jungle, in the depths of Ecuador, the myths and legends of the local tribes sing the epic of ancient cities built by giants. These gigantic structures, they say, were home to a powerful race that lived there long before the arrival of regular-sized humans. These legends have passed down the centuries, passed down from one generation to the next, through the oral folklore of the many tribes that inhabited the Amazon jungle. They talk about a giant pyramids and structures built of massive stones weighing tons, impressive with their grandeur and scale. According to these stories, the cities of the giants were home to thriving civilizations that preceded modern tribes and their ancestors. Some ancient times local tribes have used these places for their ritual gatherings, believing that they are inhabited by powerful spirits and forces. Others dare not approach them for the same reasons. These legends describe giants as majestic creatures exceeding normal human size. The tools they left behind were so huge that an ordinary person could not handle them. These giant tools, along with other archaeological finds, suggest an extremely advanced civilization with deeply developed technology and knowledge that far exceeded that of the contemporary tribes in the region. It is precisely these mystical stories passed down through the centuries that motivate a group of explorers to embark on a long journey through the unexplored jungles of the Amazon jungle in search of the lost city of the giants. The Discoveries of the Expedition An expedition conducted in 2012 led by a group of scientific researchers aimed to investigate the claims of the legends of the local tribes. Researchers have discovered a number of megalithic structures in a remote area of the Ecuadorian Amazon jungle, including a large pyramid 80 meters high and 80 meters wide. The structure was built using hundreds of large, irregular-shaped stones, each weighing about two tons. At the top of the pyramid is a flat area that may have been used as a ceremonial or sacrificial platform. In addition, the team also came across a set of huge ancient tools scattered throughout the forest. They were so large that it would be almost impossible for a normal-sized person to use them. Researchers suggest that these tools were used for metalworking, but their exact function remains unknown. Additionally, a cement-like substance was also found that was used to bind the large stones together. According to the researchers, this may be the earliest example of the use of concrete in America. The discovery of all these objects suggests that the builders of this ancient city possess engineering knowledge far more advanced for their time. One of the researchers named Bruce Fenton believes that the tools speak for themselves. What we saw really strongly suggests 
that this population was of the same race as the giants. We came across extremely large hammers, or at least stone hammer heads. Assuming they were attached to handles made of hard wood, they would have been extremely large and heavy, making their use as tools impractical for a typical Inca or Native American who are usually quite small people. In addition to the above findings, the team also observed numerous large mounds that have yet to be excavated. Although they are covered in mud and vegetation, their shape suggests that it is very likely that more pyramids are hidden beneath them. French-American archaeologist Benoit Dravenoy described what was seen of the find as follows. It looks like a paved wall, an ancient street, or square at a 60-degree angle, perhaps the roof of a large structure. Many of the stones are perfectly aligned, have sharp edges, and appear to have been sculptured by human hands. Researchers have also come across a number of large stones with circular holes cut right in the middle, which provide further evidence that refutes claims that the large pyramid-like structure may simply be a natural formation. But all accounts, it appears that the find is clearly bigger than everyone first thought. According to the discoverers, there is a strong possibility this find will solve many of the mysteries of South America and lead to the discovery of one of the most sought-after treasures in the world. Some researchers speculate that the structure may be the mausoleum of Atua Alpha. Atua Alpha, the last Inca emperor who was captured by the Spanish, is said to have been buried with a huge pile of gold amassed by his followers to pay for his release. The search for the tomb and the riches that rest within is one of the world's most significant historical treasure hunts and has inspired many expeditions. They all seem to have been unsuccessful so far. Bruce Fenton, however, who has extensively researched indigenous cultures in the region, believes that the site is more likely to date from much earlier, that is, from an unknown pre-Inca culture. His conviction came from the 30 tools found at the vicinity and the degree of erosion observed on the large stone blocks. The investigation of the site is extremely difficult due to the dangerous conditions. The nearest town is about eight hours away through the dense and mountainous jungle, and part of the route to the site is risky, to say the least, as it passes through terrain with the concentration of killer bees, the result of a failed experiment conducted in the 50s of the last century ended with the escape of thousands newly created killer bees and the hundreds of deaths from their stings throughout North and South America. The Reaction of Official Institutions In response to the discoveries, the Ecuadorian Ministry of Culture sent one of its teams to verify the findings in 2013. Despite the obvious man-made structures and tools, the ministry's official report concluded that the site was a natural formation and not an ancient archaeological site. However, Bruce Fenton, Benoit Drevernoy, and their colleagues disagree. The size and shape of the blocks, the precision and technique with which they were cut, polished, and assembled seem to point to an artificial origin. Researchers are disappointed that the site has not been properly explored and explored. Despite this protest, no further surveys were made at the site. Finn reports that many of the artifacts had already been stolen by then, making it even more difficult to piece together the full history of the site. According to some sources, the Ecuadorian government was reluctant to investigate further for archaeological finds, although government institutions were willing to dig at the site to look for oil deposits. This controversial position leads to further questions and controversy surrounding the Lost City of Giants. Today, more than a decade after the expedition, there is still no information about further research or new discoveries made at the site. Analysis of the Scientific Community The position of the scientific community regarding the so-called Lost City of Giants in Ecuador is highly skeptical. The findings that have been reported by the team of researchers have been the subject of considerable debate, controversy, and discussion. 
The scientific community often emphasizes the importance of verifiable and reliable evidence in archaeology. This is especially important when it comes to such unusual claims as the existence of ancient civilizations of giants. All findings must undergo rigorous scientific evaluation, taking into account the context of the discovery, potential alternative explanations, and the need for additional evidence. However, nothing was done and the object was once again neglected by the scientific community. So it remains in the hands of the ever more consuming nature and looters trading in ancient artifacts. Appealing fiction, ancient myth, or faded truth on its way through the ages, the story of the ancient city of giants remains yet another unsolved mystery in human history. Thank you for being a part of this journey of ours through the present to the secrets of the past. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss our new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at the time 1900.